Hi guys, welcome to how to write an exposition text, the very least you need to know. I'm just going to show you the basics. Anything extra you do is great. This is the very least you need to know, guys. Okay, guys, first of all, you're going to get a topic for your exposition. Uh, this example topic is dogs are better than cats. You're going to have to do a piece of writing, deciding and showing whether you agree or not. Dogs are better than cats. So let's see how we might plan our response to this topic, uh, what, what we're going to do. Okay, I think your plan should probably look a, a little bit like this. Well, first of all, you've got to decide whether you think dogs are better than cats. So now I think they are, so let's write down our title. This is still just our plan, but let's just write down our title. Okay, so there's my title. So now we know what position we're taking, and that is that dogs are better than cats. Now, you know, in our exposition, we're going to have an introduction, three paragraphs in the middle, and a conclusion. Okay, and those three paragraphs in the middle are going to have to argue one point each. So, you know, what, what, what's one reason dogs are better than cats? Well, let, let's think of one. Okay, so the first reason I've got there is they won't scratch you uh, when you cuddle. We'll write a paragraph about that in a moment. Uh, another reason dogs are better than cats. Uh, okay, another reason is cats. Uh, cats won't scare away robbers. Right, so a second reason is dogs will scare away robbers. Okay, they're much better at that. Okay, and the third reason, because we, we're going to have three paragraphs in the middle, remember, guys. The third reason uh, we should have why well, dogs are better than cats is that you can play fetch with them. Okay, so there's my plan. Okay, I've got my uh, big idea worked out up here, my, my, my main point, thanks, if you will. My, uh, what's it called? My position is dogs are better than cats. Uh, Point number one is they won't scratch you when you cuddle. Point number two is they scare away robbers. Point number three is they can play fetch. Right. So before you even start writing, you've got to have that sorted out. And then, of course, then of course you can start writing. Now, let, let, let's have a look how we'll do that. Okay, so you know we've been talking about this structure for a while, guys. You're going to have an introduction, and the little word we've got to remember the introduction is quip. Q-E-P. You're going to have three paragraph bodies, and the little word we've got to remember that is MESL, M-E-S-L. And you're going to have one conclusion, and the little word we've got to remember there is RISK, R-S-Q. And they all stand for something, all of those. I wonder if you can remember. Question. Engage. Position. Okay, now we're into the body and we start off with main idea. Explain. Whoopsie daisy. Explain. Support. And link. And now on to the conclusion. Restate. Summarize and question. Okay, guys, and you know, if you can just remember uh, quep, messel, and risk, then you'll be fine. And I've actually talked to a number of you, and this section here, this this body section, some of you are just doing mel, some of you are just doing missile. So you know, you make up your mind what you want to remember out of that, guys. Thanks very much. Okay, so we've planned it. We've, we've had a look at the structure. Here's the structure we should remember this. You might even want to write it down. It's not a bad idea to write down to refer back to. In fact, I really think you should write that down. It'll be useful. So once you've written that down, let's have a look at our writing. Let's go. We're going to start our writing. Of course, first of all, we write down our, our title. You've got to have a title. Okay, there's my title. Got that, right? Now it's time for my introduction. Remember, there's Quep, so I might even just write that faintly down on the side of the page. I can rub it out later. I'm going to remember Quep. Okay, there's Quep, and you'll remember the Q stands for question, E stands for engage, you know, say something interesting, and P stands for position, because you're going to give your position, which is, you know, dogs are better than cats. All right, let's have a go. 
Right, there you go. I've started off with a question. Would you rather a cruel scratching cat to cuddle or a friendly furry puppy? You can see I've used some alliteration there. Okay, now I'm up to the next bit, the E down here, the E. There it is. I've got to say something engaging. Just an interesting comment or the like. Cats and dogs have lived amongst people for thousands of years. Okay, just... Uh, just a little bit of information there, trying not to give my opinion yet. Here comes my position, my opinion. I firmly believe that dogs are better than cats, okay? You can see there's my position there, really clear. I've started off with a question, qu, had an engaging comment in the middle, eh, and I got my position at the end, p. That's all you got to remember. Right, let's do the first paragraph of the body. Right, so I'll just go back and check on my plan, and my plan up the top says, number one, it won't scratch you when my cuddle, when you cuddle, so uh, that's obviously going to be my, uh, that's my first point in my, in my body paragraph, so that's what we're going to argue, so let's go and have a look at writing that now. And I'm just going to write Messel down the side to help me plan my paragraph as well, uh, you might want to do this, you can rub it out later, that's fine. Hello there guys, this is Mr Burns diving in for a brief moment. Look, Messel is fine. It's an absolutely fine way to teach you the structure of the body of an exposition text or the, the three body paragraphs. But look, the school that I'm at now uses what's called the peel structure. And you can use either. We'll just, you know, you can use either because they're both, they are both basically um, both the same. So whether you use peel or Messel, is fine and you'll see they're very compatible they're both very similar structures we'll just go through them now quickly okay with peel the p stands for point so it's a bit like the messel main idea but peel is p for point uh e for explain so it's a bit like messel again e for explain The next E is for evidence, so you'd offer evidence to support, um, I guess, the point you're making. And the last L there is for link. Uh, that's exactly like Messel. So you can use the peel structure or you can use the Messel structure that's over there, I think, on the screen one way or another. Um, either is fine. They both do the same job. The important thing is that you use the structure. Okay, thank you. Okay, so remember the M stands for the main idea and it's really the most important part of your paragraph and our main idea is is how they, they, don't, they don't scratch you when you cuddle. So we, we better write that down very clearly. Okay, dogs are better than cats because they don't scratch you when you cuddle. Fantastic, there's my main idea. It's up the top of my paragraph in my body, okay, because I've got three paragraphs in the middle and... Each one's going to make a point. This is the first one. Uh, so really well done. Now the, the E star stands for explaining. So let's explain this main idea a little bit. Okay, this is because dogs are naturally friendlier than cats. So I've explained my main idea. Now I'm going to give a, a bit of support because the S is for support, a bit of evidence. I might have to make something up. On my arm, right now, I have two or three terrible scars left by the horrific scratching of my cat Tiddles. Oh, should be by my cat Tiddles. Hang on, let me fix that up. Actually, that reads fine. On my arm, right now, I have two or three terrible scars left by the horrific scratching of my cat Tiddles. So I might have made that up a little bit, but it's still a bit of evidence. Okay. And let's link it. Now, that's the last bit, L. And that just means we've got to link it to... To our position. When we say link, we just want to remind our audience of our position. So we want to say something positive about dogs or negative about cats at the end of our of our paragraph. Okay, right now, somewhere on the planet, a cat is scratching someone. How horrible. And then just this just links it back to the idea that you know, cats are bad and dogs are good, and that's what we're trying to uh, uh, promote in our, in our writing today. All right, so look, you're, well, I've done that. I've done one paragraph for you, uh, uh, and the paragraph I looked at with you was, was this one. Dogs are better than cats because they don't scratch you when you cuddle. And, but, you know, you'd have to do two more. You'd have to do a paragraph about... 
how dogs scare away robbers and about how dogs can play fetch and, you know, cats can't. Uh, and I'll even if you feel like you're running out of time, guys, you don't have to do three paragraphs in the body. You can actually just do two. So if you're running out of time, just choose two of these uh, two of these points for your, for your body paragraphs, okay? All right, let's have a look at how you'd write the conclusion. Let's just skip ahead to the conclusion now. Okay, and remember, uh, you've got that little help, that reminding word, risk. Okay, and that risk stands for uh, restate position, summarise your points, and then question the reader or, or, or something at the end. Okay, let's, let's have a look what I might do. Okay, in conclusion, it is clear that dogs are better than cats. So I've restated my position. Fantastic. Now I'm going to summarise my points. Okay, dogs can be cuddled more easily, they will scare away robbers, and you can even enjoy a game of fetch with your dog. And so, you know, I've just summarised my three middle paragraphs there in one sentence. Remember, I only wrote, I only wrote one, I only wrote the first of my, of my body paragraphs. Uh, uh, you saw me do it with Messel, but, but you'd have to write two more. Okay, about those other two points, but but I've summarised all of them. I, I'm pretending now that I wrote them all, and uh, uh, my 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 second paragraph or my my first point paragraph was dogs can be cuddled more easily. Uh, my second point paragraph was they will scare away robbers, and my third point paragraph, my third body paragraph was uh, you can even enjoy a game of fetch with your dog. Okay, and. I'm going to finish off with a question or an interesting comment, but usually Q, Q for questions, an easy one to remember. Now you tell me, would you rather hang out with Cuddles the Cocker Spaniel or Scratchy the Tomcat? All right, and so I've uh, just finished off there with a question uh, for the reader. Okay, and basically, guys, uh, at the end, uh, you should have five paragraphs, and it should look roughly like this. I'll just organise it on a page for you. Okay, that's what it'll look like, of course, minus two paragraphs that you've got to write. Okay, up here, of course, you've got your uh, introduction. Okay, here you've got your uh, your first body paragraph that is all about how dogs are better than cats because they don't scratch you when you cuddle. Here, and here's one you'd have to write, I didn't write it. I think that one was about how dogs would keep the burglars away and you'd have to, you know, mess all that, M-E-S-L that. Here's uh, the last body paragraph we'd do down here and that one would be all about um, how... Uh, you can play fetch with uh, dogs but not cats and you'd have to mess all that. You'd have to write that one in yourself. And of course, last of all, the one we did together was uh, the conclusion. And we did that one together, didn't we? And so basically you're going to have a, um, uh, uh, for, uh, an exhibition with five paragraphs in it. Okay, you can see I've just added in those paragraphs there, but I didn't go through them with you because I thought I'd just go through one messel with you to give you the idea, but I'm, I'm hoping that you can apply the idea of a messel to all three of the, the body paragraphs. There, of course, three paragraphs in the middle that make up the meat of your exposition. Okay, guys, maybe you can put a question on Edmodo if you've got one or two. Um, I'd be happy to have a go at answering it, otherwise you could ask me tomorrow. Thanks for listening. Uh, we'll have a little brief review of it tomorrow anyway, and I'll talk to you later. Cheers.